Leonard Zen and today I'm going to show you how to glue in one of our steering tube reinforcing inserts. The first thing you need to do is make sure the surfaces are clean and properly roughed up. These come already roughed up by the machining process. They're intentionally leave them the lathe really rough but this is alcohol, isopropyl alcohol that just spray it off with and, and uh, wipe off any, any oils from hands and whatever off the insert. And then, um, and then on the inside of the steering tube, take a piece of sandpaper and um, sort of medium grit and slide it in there and work it around there with your finger knock the excess out you can Blow it out with air compressor is probably a good idea. You can also, you know, take a pen or a screwdriver alongside it and maybe see if you can work in there a little deeper. I'm trying to clean and rough up the surface a little bit. And then um, and then you're gonna get that out with the isopropyl alcohol. spoke or something. Push this around in there a little better. Okay. Now you're gonna mix up the epoxy. JV Weld, which is great stuff. up half and half. stirring stick
like I need a little more. Get pushed to the top of this thing, top of the insert as you slide it in. So that's super critical. You get it all the way to the top. As you can see when they slide it in, it's scraping it off the walls of this thing. Insert. side Got a pretty good layer in here and then a lot on this and so this will push this thing the insert will push the the um, epoxy that's inside of the tube down along it and and then the tube will the steering tube will slide this additional epoxy up up here along the insert and we just Turning it, get everything spread around. And I like to just a little more inside the edge here that got pushed out. You can, of course, wear gloves. And it's probably a good idea. I'm obviously going to wash my hands right after doing this. But Oxy takes 24 hours to harden, so you don't really have to worry about it hardening up on your fingers right away. off the excess.
epoxy very nicely. And then when you leave it to dry, leave it standing up, not necessarily like that, it's not necessarily gonna stand up, but lean it against something standing that way so that the epoxy will tend to fill in up near the top. And that's it, that's how that's held in. Your inside is the, uh, is the threaded hole for the top cap of the headset. So you just, that, that's what holds it in adjustment. You leave it sit for at least 24 hours before, before um, assembling it in the bike. And then when you assemble it, you um, make sure that you don't over tighten the, the uh, it only takes 22 Newton meters, which is very, very, 22 inch pounds, sorry, very, very small amount of torque to uh, tighten the top cap if, as long as your stem bolts are loose and to adjust the headset. So you shouldn't have a problem with yanking this out unless you have the stem bolts clamped already or something and then if you tighten that you'll you'll pull this right out so so just um, make sure it's dry enough and then when you're adjusting the headset only use as much tension as you need to to take the play out of the headset and then this is totally reinforced five inches down 125 millimeters down so anywhere you clamp your your stem in that region it'll be supported by this by this uh, steering tube reinforcing insert and and that as long as the headset top of the headset is within five inches of the top of this then you know that that's aluminum in, reinforcement is inserted inside of the headset so that any net force on on the steering tube is uh, is supported at that at that uh, stress riser point of the top of the headset supported by the reinforcement. Thanks.